Hey guys, David from The Trade Study here. Going to go over nine reasons to invest in the stock market, why it's so important. Um, and it's just incredible if just done right in an appropriate manner. You can make anywhere from 7%, 10% or even more in the long run generating wealth with just having your money sit in the stock market. How do we do that? Number one, you can just grow your money over time sitting in mutual funds. This is something that's offered by most uh, employee plans through a 401k, 403. B. And the cool thing about this is that when you have your money sit in there, the company often matches you with an amount due to the agreement that they have in their summary plan description. If this is something that you don't know about, definitely it's not a bad idea to reach out to the representative that is in charge of that through your company. And uh, they can tell you more about how you can collect that match. And essentially what it is is free money that you collect. So great way to start collecting money in the long run, generating returns for retirement. ETFs is another way to go about it as well. Uh, this is more on your own personal brokerage account. Not too many of the retirement plans through companies offer this. So what an ETF is, I like to think of it as a basket of stocks that you can invest in through just one investment vehicle. So kind of like a similar to a mutual fund, there's less fees, there's more flexibility, uh, generally speaking. So, And of course, you have stocks, which are also going to be available to get your individual exposure to just one company, whereas an ETF, you have exposure to multiple companies within that investment vehicle. And so if you put about 10000 in the market, let's say, through any one of these vehicles, you can easily make about 20,000 anywhere from 5 10 years out especially with the mutual fund and ETF there's less risk versus having exposure to just one company because you have more exposure to multiple companies throughout the basket case of the ETF or the mutual fund therefore my next point is historically stocks have gone up in the last 100 years uh, think of compounding interest. This is something that you've probably heard numerous times. What you're doing here is you're letting that money sit. And the longer you let that money sit, the safer you are really and the growth is there uh, compounding over time. And you could do this even without dividends. If you're getting paid dividends, which is a payment that is paid to shareholders for holding on to shares and having ownership in a company, you free select um you're eligible to receive a select payment from them uh, for holding those shares into the company. Now let's take a look at these charts really quick. I'm going to pull up some charts. This is the SPX. This is the um, S&P uh, 500. So you can see here over the daily chart here from the March 2020 coronavirus pandemic, we created a buying opportunity right here in this shaded area. You can see this massive drop. Everything was on sale. Um, and then as you can see moving forward, a couple months ahead, check this out. Look at where we are now today at the end of 2020, just about. We're at new highs. This is a bargain that uh, and explaining why there has been such a huge generational wealth taking over in this year and why there are so many people doing well. Yes, there are a lot of people on the other side of the equation that are suffering through this pandemic. Um, but there's also a lot of people doing really well. E-commerce businesses and investors and such are taking advantage of this opportunity and further building upon their wealth. So it's important to take a look at this and take advantage of it while we are here in the moment. Um, as you can look, this is the chart of the SPX over the last three years. As you can see, um, steady and slowly going up. Long story short, this is the 10-year chart of investing into the SPX. So if you invested just a little bit of money, a thousand bucks here and there, let's say a thousand uh, every three months, every quarter, about four thousand dollars per year going towards your account. And let's say you invested in the beginning here around one thousand, right? It hit a low of a thousand dollars and seven uh, seventy-four dollars with seventy-seven cents. And ten years later, you are now have about almost thirty-seven hundred dollars per uh, share. So that's pretty incredible uh, when you look at that. Um, and just to even further compound that. 
this is the 100 year chart so if we go all the way back to the 1920s and 1930s where we had the great depression take place there's a big drop there and you can see that again kind of similar to what is happening in this pandemic that we're in right now you have this low buying opportunity people taking advantage reaching uh significantly what is that 400 percent gain from that low a little bit of a sell-off again there was a lot of events that happened in this time stretch and then as you could see right here if we keep on looking up ahead what is the pattern we keep on going up there was a little bit of selling pressure here in 1953 but the stock market has shown resiliency and has shown strength and has helped build wealthy investors and overall just a fountain of wealth that is available for anybody to take advantage and as you can see as we fast forward and look at the chart over time as we get to 1966 here 1970 I think you get the idea now that the stock market has been uh, with a proven track record here uh, always reaching up to new highs and here we are fast forward to today so um, the the performance of the stock market is uh, is done pretty well and to bet against it is uh, not a wise move so let's see now we got number three here and money sitting in a savings account is money that's being lost so the reason for this is you've probably heard of this economical term called inflation inflation is a general increase in prices so Think about that cup of coffee that you purchase every morning. Um, the cost of goods and services increase over time. And that cup of coffee that you were buying was probably maybe $3 uh, 5, 10 years ago. Now you fast forward, you're paying about $3.30 or $3.50 for that cup of coffee. And this is normal because this is a general increase in prices and goods and services, which then means that your dollar is losing purchasing power over time it is kind of scary when you think about it but this is the reason why you have to put some money to work for you is because you need to protect yourself from the dollar falling you have assets around you that are appreciating over time such as real estate and the stock market that we have or even gold or any of those assets as well let's take a look at this example right here that I have so we have the best performing asset classes here in 2019. Very soon with the end of 2020 coming up, uh, we'll definitely have this updated. You can see that crude oil was the biggest winner here, followed by an investment in the S&P 500 with 31%. Um, then we had real estate uh, in the market for the United States, which almost was 29%. Then, then the U.S. small cap companies at 25.5%, emerging markets, commodities, oil, coffee, those kind of things, gold, corporate bonds. And then, long story short, look at at the bottom here, savings account just returned about 1.7%, which is just weak when you can just have your money sit in the market in any of these asset classes and have that work for you so this is kind of a wake-up call I know this hit me really hard uh, seven years ago and told myself hey I need to start putting money to work and let's get to it so next uh, point here number four is that you have no or low fees and it's easily accessible back then to do any trading or investing you had to pay anywhere from $10 uh, to open up a position and then another $10 or $7 depending on the brokerage platform that you went to to close up your trade so you were looking anywhere at about a total of of um, let's say seventeen twenty dollars for just one trade that is uh, absurd and it's nice that we don't have to worry about that anymore in this day and age and with all the technology that we have and speaking of technology you can pretty much set this up not over the phone you can do this all through an app on your phone or on your iPad or on your desktop or as before um, you had some of those access uh, accessibilities, but you had to do a lot of phone calling and go through applications and on the desktop, and it was very clunky. 
pretty much now you can do everything on the go on your mobile device which is incredible and gives you even more reason and zero fees i mean you have platforms like Robinhood, um td ameritrade unless you're trading options then yeah you are going to be paying a little bit of a fee but besides that you are getting a free pass to uh get involved in the stock market at no cost so it's a very great deal um number five liquid assets is uh, another term that you may have heard of liquidity provides the ability to a uh, be able to turn your assets into cash quickly a great example of this is looking at real estate real estate you're investing in homes these properties that are liquid why because there's a buyer and there's a seller so they're trying to get rid of the product for the right price the buyer is trying to get that product but for their right price so there's a little bit of a spread between the buying price and the selling price and we have to find within that spread who is going to uh, come to an agreement to be a little bit closer to that selling price or to a little bit closer to the buyers price Whereas you could actually use the stock market to invest in real estate through through real estate investment trusts, which are REITs. And these are liquid assets that are treated as stock. And what this is, is a collection of properties that you can actually own under this, very much like an ETF kind of. And you can actually be a part of that by taking advantage of that collection of rent for having your money into that REIT. So you can have exposure to restaurants, movie theaters, hospitals, um, you name it, oil businesses. It's a very cool idea. So it's another way to get involved in real estate. That's the best way I can explain liquidity and the stock market provides that in case you need cash, right? And you can't take it out because you're stuck with trying to strike that real estate deal. Well, in the stock market, you have the ability to take out that cash at any time. Tax-free investment growth is the next reason, and you have different tax advantages, different tax accounts. These are pretty much gifts that are given to you by the U.S. government, and you need to talk to um, your retirement advisor. This is kind of going back to the first point and generating wealth by just having your money sit into a 401k, 403b. There are tax advantages you could take advantage, or even Roth IRAs and IRAs. These are all uh, vehicles that provide tax advantages for us and they provide us savings uh, helping us reduce tax burden next one is going to be you can live life comfortably at retirement by just saving and investing and this is the idea less financial strengths and, and that stress goes away the longer you are in the game the longer you are sitting on assets as they grow using that compounding factor as it multiplies over time it's incredible that your $10,000 investment can turn into $20,000 by just letting it sit there over time. Or your $20,000 investment can turn into $40,000, so on. So, so you get the idea, 100% return, very easy, very doable. Um, so there's a way to really do this, and you can be a part of history by owning shares in a company. You technically have ownership in the company. It's a pretty cool feeling. It's a pretty cool uh, feature because if you own a lot of shares in a company, you actually have voting powers as well to make decisions or uh, voting decisions that uh, the corporate company may take action. And you can actually be a part of that history. So you can actually have significant input and value if you are a large shareholder. Another cool thing is that we have key moments in history, and this is probably the last reason I would talk about today at the end of this video, is that they present unique opportunities for generating significant wealth over a period of time. So we saw this with the coronavirus pandemic, as I showed before. And if you go back, probably the most unique opportunity was uh, before the pandemic was the 2008 financial crisis where you saw the stock market dropped and you could have gotten a share of starbucks for maybe like four dollars instead of buying a coffee from starbucks for four dollars you could have secured starbucks shares for four dollars and starbucks is probably trading like around eighty ninety dollars right now so you could have put what four hundred dollars down and that four hundred dollars would definitely be over a thousand dollars by now so it's very powerful the tool of investing um and i hope this short video kind of cleared up 
a little bit of the reasons that why it's so important to start in the stock market and take advantage of these reasons guys i hope you enjoyed this video if you want more content subscribe send me a, a comment or email if you have any questions all right you have a great one thank you